Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Fincrypted and on this channel, my goal is not only to educate people about crypto projects, but also to generate passive income streams using crypto. And for that, I have made a playlist of all staking projects that I am invested in. I post videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays, so make sure that you subscribe and click on the bell icon to stay updated. In today's video, we will see how someone could download their trade history from Binance. So why to delay? Let's get started. Before we proceed, just want to make sure that we are on the same page. I'm not a financial advisor and none of this is a financial advice. This is only for educational purpose and I'm only sharing my personal experience. So let's go to Binance. And after you log in, you can click on orders and click on spot order. On the left side, you see open orders, order history and trade history. So open orders is pretty much straightforward. You know, if you have any open orders in place, you can see all the orders here, all the limit orders that you have placed that is open. You can see from here and same for stop limit and limit maker. In order to see the order history, you click here and you can select the date from here. You can only export six months at once. If you want more you can click on export and you click this beyond six month and select the timeline here you can only generate this report five times in a month because of the server capacity constraint once you click on generate you will get a notification on your email id once it is generated and you can come back here and click on download it will be a csv file if you are downloading this data for your tax purpose, then you have to go to trade history because in some countries like Germany, we can deduct the transaction fees from our profit. So if we go to trade history, you see the similar timeline button here. You click here and you can go back again to six months. And if you need more, you can click on export, click on this beyond six months. Again, you can generate this up to five times in month. And here you can see that the transaction fees that I paid when I bought this pair. But the problem is the fees is in the currency that you paid. In some pair you will see that you are paying the fees in euros. But in most of them you, you will see that you are paying the fees either in BNB or the pair that you are buying. So all you have to do is once you download the data you can multiply this number by the current price of the crypto that you are buying. And that's pretty much it. Then you can have all the trade history in CSV files and you can give it to your tax consultant to work on it. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching.